Hey, what's up, Diamonds? It's your boy, Christopher Doc Reed, your favorite relationship and life coach out here. One more again, telling you what your father didn't tell you and your mother did not know. Are you okay with being chased? Ladies, are you? I know you'd be like, child, yes, of course. Am I okay? Are you? Yeah, I know, right? I get it, right? But here's the deal. Are you okay in this process when things start to go a little weird, maybe get a little wrong, the chasing slows down, uh-oh, maybe he goes ghost on you, oh, wow, things were going really great, we was having such a good time, we was hanging out, you know, he was opening doors, pulling out chairs, whatever, you know, um, and it just stopped, honeymoon phase is over, ooh, now, Women tend to get real nervous when this happens, okay? Because now you start to say, what if he's not interested? Uh, what if he's found someone else? Uh, 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 this not knowing just tears you up. And I know many of you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Not knowing drives you crazy, okay? Who's guilty of this? Don't worry about who's over there and who's just just you and I. We're the only ones here, okay? If you're guilty, just go ahead and raise your hand. And say, I might do that sometimes. I don't. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what do you do when you start to get a little nervous? You know, maybe you start to call him. Hey, um, I was just checking on you. Is he in the hospital? Just checking on you. I mean, did he get in an accident? You you know, say like. What does checking on you mean? I, I I don't know. It's probably just cold word for I haven't heard from you. So I'm panicking and I just want to reach out and see what's going on. Or, you know, you start sending a little text message, you know, hey, what's up? Smiley face, whatever. Social media stalking, all of that. You know, ladies, I got some news for you. Um, this is called chasing. Yeah, this is called pursuing and um the thing about it is, it's not going to turn on his, his chasing energy. It's not going to turn it back on. It's not going to make him say, oh, wow, <laughs> she checked on me just to see how I was doing. Okay, let me get back in gear and let me start chasing him. Uh, it don't work like that. Here's what, here's all you need to know. This is all you need to know. No matter what, no matter what, you're still the prize. Okay, diamonds. Ladies, this is you. This is what you are, okay? Diamonds don't cry when they're not purchased. I've never gone into a jewelry store, saw a beautiful diamond sitting in this wonderful case, and then someone looks at it and says, oh, wow, okay, oh, blah, and then walks away. Diamond, <laughs> you know, you don't start crying like the cowardly lion. I mean, you don't do that because you know what the diamond says? They couldn't afford me, okay? It, 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 it's not a question of do they want me. They sat here and they stared at me and they talked. They had a conversation, you know what I'm saying, for like five minutes. They don't have the credit, okay? You got bad credit and you just don't have the money. You, you want me, but can you afford me, you know? And here's the deal. Diamonds, don't decrease your value. You, you don't see diamonds jumping out the case and running and tackling somebody, you know what I'm saying? Please buy me, please buy me. Chasing decreases your perceived value. I didn't say it, it decreases your value, okay? You are what you are, okay? Your perceived value. Don't do it. Don't do it whatsoever. Know your value, period, and walk in it. Don't just walk in it, strut in it, okay? Because let me tell you something. The guy that God has for you can afford you. Cash. Here you go. Well, you want us to run your credit? I didn't say nothing about no credit here. Just I know I already want her. So just here, here's the money. Let's go. You know, that, that's what it is. So let me ask you, do you get paranoid when you don't know what's going on? When, when, when things get a little weird, do you start to second guess yourself? Start insecurity start to come in? Okay. Are you scared that maybe he's walking away? And do you become the hunter instead of the hunted? If this is you, that means your self-worth is not where it needs to be. Here's what I want you to do. Contact me. Go to ChristopherReed.org. Schedule your free 30-minute consultation so we can see how coaching, okay, can help you create that diamond mindset. Because guess what, boo-boo? Diamonds, they don't chase. They shine.
There are no legs on this. Why? Don't need them. Okay? But they do shine in the light. Ooh, yeah. When the light hit it just right. Oh, it just shines. It just sits there and it's just beautiful. And y'all buy them in droves. Ooh, look at them. Yeah, they right there. They're all on your hands. Okay? Diamonds are a girl's best friend. I know that's right. Listen, also, join me every Wednesday. Okay, in my Facebook group, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I'm talking about the things that matter to you most. Last Wednesday, what did we talk about? We talked about mm, part two, solving the mystery of how we as men think. And ladies, let me tell you something. Okay, I know for many of you, that is a mystery. All right, but understanding this, it's not rocket science, it's not. But let me help you understand it. Understand what we do and why we do it is imperative. OK, because you can have a good relationship go bad real quick because we're not on the same page. So if you want to watch that and see what we talked about, actually, for part one and part two, go join the Facebook group. Go to my uh, website, ChristopherReed.org. You'll see there at the bottom of the screen where to join the group and um, love to have you be a part. So listen, diamonds. Yes, that's right. Know your worth. Know your value. Strut in it. All right. And if you're having some challenges with this, because things happen, childhood trauma, bad relationships, all these things come in that have an impact on your perceived value, how you look at yourself. You get triggered. That's why when they walk away or that's why when things slow down, it affects you and then anxiety comes in. OK, now we're fearful. All right. But listen, you can work through that. You can get to the point where you understand, hey, all my job is to do is just sit here and shine. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shine. So listen. All right. I'm out of here. I got to go. Be safe. Peace.